Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share a quick video with you today. Okay, I've been taking part in a holiday embellishment swap and um, the swap is hosted by V, who is Virginia1468 here on YouTube. Hi V! Um, thank you so much for doing this um, swap. It, it has been fun. But I have found it hard work. <laughs> I have to be honest. <laughs> um, so it's a holiday swap and we were partnered up with a swap partner and we had to choose which holiday. Uh, for instance there was Halloween, there was Winter Wonderland, there was Christmas, you could do vintage Christmas or traditional Christmas. Anyway, I was partnered up with uh, Letty. Hi Letty, who is uh, Letitia M here on YouTube. And we both chose Vintage Christmas. So we had a list of 15 embellishments that we had to make. And then we swapped with our partner. So hopefully Letty will have received this by now, by the time you watch this video. Um, I made all my embellishments and I started packaging them up and thought, oh my goodness, I haven't filmed them. So some of them are in packaging already. <laughs> but I will do my best to show them. Okay, I will pop a link to uh, Letty's channel down below and to V's channel also. Okay, so number one was a picture frame. So this is my picture frame and I am sorry for the glare, like I said I have started packaging them and um, so, so uh, quite a lot of them are already in packaging. So this was a picture frame ornament that I had and it was bright gold and I painted it all cream and I've popped a vintage image of Father Christmas in there. And then I've used some crochet lace uh, around the outside and then some um, small poncettas that I've made um, and put uh, tiny embellishments on. And I did spray the frame with glimmer mist and um, that also. I'm really happy how that turned out. So set number two was a spoon or fork. So I went with spoon and I actually altered a wooden spoon. So here's my spoon and um, I absolutely love doing this one. <laughs> I really do. So I used a lace on the base of the spoon. I did paint the whole spoon cream first used a lace round the uh, base of the spoon. I took a metal uh, uh, cameo fitting and painted it cream and I've popped a picture of uh, Father Christmas in there. I've used a large poncettia here in cream and I've stickled it and glittered it. I've also added some uh, holly leaves and pearl berries on there. I hope you can see that. And then on the uh, handle of the spoon, I wrapped it in lace. I can't remember if I put seam binding on that one. No, I think it's all lace. And then one of the, the leaf swells on there. And I also added some uh, lace leaves behind the holly as well. And this is a button in the centre of the poncetta. And I'm just thrilled how that turned out. That was really fun to do. I really enjoyed that. So that's the spoon. Number three was uh, ultra cork. And it had to have a hook and a dangle. So this is my first ultra cork. So... I covered the cork in 
uh, two different types of laces. Uh, one's a dangle lace. I added some seam binding and a small poncetta. I've put the hook in, which is a Tim Holtz uh, memo uh, pin, and I've just added a, a few beads onto there, well a pearl and a glass bead. And then this uh, long chain was actually from an earring, and again I used a Tim Holtz uh, memo pin attached uh, the dangle to it and then push that into the cork so that turned out really well I think <laughs> but I'm happy for my first altered cork so I'm really hoping that Letty likes these <laughs> okay number four was a matchbox now I didn't have any match square rectangle matchboxes to hand but I did have a triangle one so I used a triangle one i just show you, it is actually a matchbox. <laughs> so I haven't done anything to the inside, but I covered both sides in fabric. I trimmed the edges with a tiny lace, and then the sides I used a rosette trim. And on the top, I've added the loop so that it can hang up. Um, I've added some holly and pearls there and a poncetta and then just down at the bottom I've hung, this was an earring a pearl drop earring so I've hung that on the base and I'm really quite pleased how that turned out so that's my triangle matchbox and I, I'm going to pop some goodies inside there also Okay, number five was a mini bottle and it had to have something inside and a hook. Now I'll be honest with you, I did struggle with this one. But, so uh, ha I have quite a few of these little mini bottles that I got with seed beads in it. So I took the seed beads out and what I've done is I've put some... Um, Christmas flakes into the bottom and then I, I cut the top off one of the Melissa Francis uh, bottle brush Christmas trees can you see it just in there it's in cream and then I, I put it on a cork because obviously the the size of it was too large so I just cut the top off to make a tiny Christmas tree put it into the bottle it's not I know you're getting glare I am sorry but you can just see it, I think. And then I tied some seam binding around the neck of the bottle and added a poncetta to the side. I just used a, a, me a memo pin again, pushed that into the cork and tied. You'll see all of them have um, ribbon to hang them up, but I've tied that around the back of the packaging to hold them in place. So this can be hung up also. So that's my mini bottle. Right, dangle charm. Okay. So I made the dangle charm. I am sorry about all the glare. And on this I just used uh, cream pearls and a slight beige pearl as well. And I've got some little Christmas charms, there's a Christmas tree, and um, a stocking, else? and we, then this large lantern. And lanterns always remind me of Christmas, I don't know why, but they do. So the main focus is the large lantern, but then there's lots of baubles and pearls and yumminess. So I was happy how that turned out. Uh, next is a stick pin. So I went for a large hat pin and I used one of the very large poncettas and then I used a smaller one in the centre and attached that to my stick uh, hat pin. And then I've just added some beads and bead caps. 
Now I haven't glued these on because I thought if Letty wanted to she could take the beads off and use them on something else. Or she can leave it as it is. <laughs> and these actually come with the the little uh, end because they are actually sharp, the hat pins. So, so that's my very large stick pin. <laughs> then it was a three inch flower. So here's my flower. Again in the creams and uh, I've used cream fabric and or, uh, netting. I've also used a doily and then this gorgeous bling in the centre. So that's my flower. Next was uh, an altered key. So this is my altered key and I painted it cream and then sprayed it with some gold shimmer mist. I've added some lace to it and a couple of poncettas and then across the top there is actually bling and pearl trim so it's got a really pretty sparkle to it and that's uh, pearl and rhinestone sorry trim and then the poncettas and you can just see the lace peeping out there so that's my altered key Number 10 was an art I make and it had to have two pieces. So I used a, a cameo base and I added some uh, liquid pearl to it. Um, I used a Christmas candle cameo. I've added a poncetta to the side and a diamante uh, crown at the top. Then I attached this earring because the bling in the earring and the colourings just matched in with the cameo. And you know that's a dangle so it, it really, I was quite pleased how this turned out actually. I was worried about doing, doing this um, but I am quite pleased how it turned out. So I just so that's the cameo with the, the crown, the diamante crown, and then the earring. So that's my first ever art I make. Number 11, an embellished shape. Okay, so I had this die cut of a Christmas ornament. Here. And this die actually comes with the embossing folder for the ornament. So it's embossed on both sides. And then I just rubbed some uh, glitter onto it. Um, I've added a couple of laces, both front and back. And then used a large poncetta. So that's my altered shape. Then it was embellish a paper doily. So this is my embellished paper doily. So I distress stained it, I spritzed it, the doily. Then I added some lace round and the images of two two angels singing uh, at Christmas and then I've just used poncettas, small poncettas, a group of three of them. So that's my embellished paper doily. Okay so we're on number 13 which was a card and inside should have a speci special message. So this is my card and I stamped uh, the postcard Christmas scene and just uh, used distress stain and glitter. You can probably just see the glitter, maybe not. 
and then I used the holly leaves and pearls and a large poncetta with some uh, doily peeping out from behind it and they're, I haven't handwritten um, to Letty yet <coughs> excuse me so my spe special message is what is Christmas? it is tenderness for the past courage for the present hope for the future it is a fervent wish that every cup may overflow with blessings rich and eternal and that every path may lead to peace so that's my Christmas message and my card uh, number 14 is a goodie bag and we're going to put little goodies in it but I haven't filled it yet so I used a small canvas bag and I transferred this gorgeous vintage image of Father Christmas I think he's gorgeous onto uh, the canvas bag and then I just used um, some laces from my stash and I added some tiny pearl embellishments and a poncetta and then I'm going to pop some goodies in there and number 15 was decorate a candy bar with a quote or saying so I've got my candy bar and I made a wrapper for it, for it using, it was cardboard but I've added fabric and laces and glue strings and <laughs> Again, a poncetta, the large one with the small one in the middle, and then some holly leaves and pearls. And I have, you know, finished it off at the back as well. And uh, the quote on here says, Something about an old fashioned Christmas is hard to forget. So that's the candy bar. So that's my 15 piece embellishment swap. Letty, I really hope you like them. <coughs> so I've been working on these for a number of weeks and I have to say that um, it's amazing how long small embellishments, smaller embellishments can take to, to make. Especially for me when I only really craft at weekends. But um, it's taken me a good probably a month to get them all done <laughs> but I got there in the end and um, so I'm almost ready to get them packaged up and shipped out so uh, Letty I really hope you love them and thank you again V for hosting this um, swap and thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon bye for now